Hello everybody, my name is Dana, and today I will be doing my first film review of a movie that I just saw. It's been out in theaters for a little while, but it is called The Magnificent Seven. It's directed by Antron Fuqua, and I have to say, I was very impressed. And in the spirit of westerns, I am going to put on my cowboy hat. Howdy, y'all! So, this film stars Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Vincent D'Onofrio, and a few other actors. Needless to say, I thought this movie was very exciting. So, this film stars Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Vincent D'Onofrio, and a few other actors who, because this is totally quick, I forgot their names. Needless to say, I thought this movie was very exciting. I thought that the actors all did a great job. I thought that the cinematography was just spot on. It was very, like, it captured the feel of the Western perfectly. And frankly, it's... It's just nice to have just a, nice, a straightforward, fun movie, but it also has like a lot of very serious tones to it, and I really appreciated that. Denzel Washington, as always, is amazing. He plays sort of this, you know, really tough-as-nails bounty hunter, and he recruits all these other people. You know, he's got like the big bear of a man, Vincent D'Onofrio. He finds this like really awesome Native American guy who also joins his group. He finds this, uh, you know, this Chinese sort of knife-throwing martial artist who's also a super fast gunslinger and he's great and of course Chris Pratt is just phenomenal in this movie Chris Pratt is definitely one of the up-and-comers I think I have enjoyed his performances in just about everything I've seen whether it be Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic World, uh, Parks and Recreation and now uh, Magnificent Seven there's a few characters that feel just slightly underdeveloped, even if I liked their characters. I feel like Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt definitely feel like they're the focus of the show, along with Ethan Hawke's character. However, some of the other characters do feel like they're a little underdeveloped. I mean, since it is just a fat, very fast-paced action western, there was some except that was bound to happen, and that's really my only nitpicky thing, but other than that, I thought this was an excellent movie, and if you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend seeing it. I'm almost inclined to see it again. It is awesome. Uh, James Horner, uh, who may rest in peace, does a phenomenal job scoring this film. It is a fantastic time and I'm going to give it an A.